Na Aisa. Hey Richard Bell, are you safe? We're safe for now. Hey Dukes! So I'm just gonna bring you guys up to speed. James, I'm a guy's Vambeko. Bye, ma. I'm a double name, Monetro. You were a bad guy. I like what Sharod. All right, let me guys, let me just bring you guys up to speed. Guys, for those of you that are watching, please do me a favor. Could you tag, tag Lusaka City Council, tag the local government and housing, tag Gary and Combo, tag the mayor, tag Civic Center, because I'm about to explain something to you that's going on here in the CBD that I think everybody should know. First of all, you must know that along this road, this is, this is called Simon Moira Lane here, okay? That's the car park. That is Lumumba Road there. That's Lumumba Road, okay? As you know, the vendors have been cleared from Lumumba Road. They've been cleared from Chachacha Road. They've been cleared from Freedom Way. They've been cleared from Cairo Road. Many of them already had stands in the markets, in the various markets, and they've gone back to those stands. But a vast majority of them who don't have stands have been told by UPND cadres that come to Simon Mwewa Lane. On Simon Mwewa Lane, you will be given refuge, you will be secured a spot. But on top of that, the people who don't have stands on Simon Mwewa Lane will be given stands inside the alleyway. The alleyway behind the buildings. You know, uh, Simon Moore Lane is a very long lane and um, it's got lots of buildings. Okay, there's, that's Simon Moore Market there. It's got lots of buildings. Now behind the buildings are the lanes. Uh, sorry, are the uh, alleys. The alleys. The UPND cadres have taken advantage of this confusion and they are telling marketeers that if they pay 500 kwacha per, per street vendor, per marketeer, per, per trader, they will be given a spot in the back alley. Let me say it again. The UPND cadres have connived, they're, they're trying to hoodwink the people. They're trying to hoodwink the, the traders by telling them that if the traders pay 500 kwacha, 500 kwacha per, per, per trader, the kadas will secure a spot for them in the back alley. But we all know that that is not the directive by the local government uh, minister. That is not the directive of local uh, of Lusaka City Council. The directive is that our people should move from the streets where they are vulnerable, they're not safe, and they should trade in designated markets, not on the street. Because you can see there. Here, let me let me zoom in. See, they're trading on the street. I want to ban it. I'm a fire market. I'm a fire street. 
So all of these people you're seeing along the road, all of them have been coaxed by UPND cadres who've told them that for you to trade here, you have to pay 500 kwacha. Not just here on this, on uh, this Simon Moore Lane. They're also doing it behind the alley, the alleyways. The alleyways are full, but I can't go to the alleyways. Bantubala, they can stone me there, you see? They can stone me there. They can stone me there. And it's not safe for me to go to the alleyway. It's not safe. Because there's a mini riot. There was a mini riot in the alleyway a few minutes ago. Because uh, the, the, the vendors started saying to the cadres, we paid you money. Where is our space? When the directive is very clear, nobody has, has the mandate to give out space to anyone. Iwabala, wavala rodia. Bantu wafuno pita wa imidia. He's blocking the road, he is. So, so I'm telling you, uh, any any time you have cadres, any time cadres are involved in anything, because cadres don't care about the city. Cadres don't care about the functionality of roads. The only thing Cadres care about is are they going to make money? Are they going to make money on the backs of our vulnerable women? You see the ladies there? They've left the Mumba Road, they've come here, and they've done that because they're here on the strength of the word of these cadres who have told them, no, you can trade on, uh, on, uh, on Simon Moore Lane. When the government has made it very clear, no trading on the streets, you can only trade in the markets, but oh no, my people, my people crazy as hell. At even on top of the building, yes. We want people to pass. If you obstruct the road, now you see, we've told the vendors, Kuti, you see that's the boundary there. You can't trade beyond that gate. You can't trade in front of this gate here because already the road is congested. Already the road is dangerous. I mean, imagine if you put vendors here. How are these buses and vehicles going to pass? They can't and they won't pass. Why, Henry says, why aren't the police and council coming to Simon Moore Lane? I, you must ask that question. Please, na papa, tafunsani yo question yo. Why are the council police and the police, why are they not coming here to Simon Moore Lane? Why? Go and say, kuja kulumumba road, vana buela, ku freedom way, vana buela, ku Cairo, vana buela, pachacha, cha, vana buela. Why kuno sibabuela? Why? Ask that question. Why are they not coming here? What is the problem? Already this road is impassable. And then if you add street vendors there, how are we going to function? We can't and we won't function.
Funsani, your question here. Why are they not trading? I mean, sorry, why are they not, not, uh, why are the police not coming here? No. They